Are you suffering from masseter hypertrophy? Watch this video to know whether you should go in for Botox injection treatment or a masseter debulking surgery. Hi, I'm Dr. Shreya Krishna, your trusted oral and maxillofacial surgeon from New Delhi. The masseter muscle, which is the side muscle of our jaws, which starts from the area of your cheek down to the lower uh, portion of your lower jaw, on both the sides is the strongest muscle used during mastication. Now this gets bulked up and increased in size due to many reasons. The most common being patients who have a habit of grinding their teeth at night, which is called bruxism, are most prone to this condition of masseteric hypertrophy. This can be one-sided or this can be on both the sides. The effects of masseter hypertrophy are as much aesthetic and uh, uh, cosmetic as they are functional. Functionally, they, you can feel tightness of the jaws, there can be pain associated with masseter hypertrophy. But the bigger worry always for patients and the reason why they seek treatment is mainly because it causes a different appearance of the face, the back of them jaws appears very bulked up, their uh, jawline suddenly becomes very squarish and in cases where there is unilateral hypertrophy, it causes facial asymmetry. So let's discuss the two main options which are available to patients for treating this condition. The first is a semi-surgical option which is injection of Botox into the muscle. So Botox is a neurotoxin, it is the inhibitor of a neurotransmitter what it does is, it inhibits the action of this muscle. Now when the muscle is not being used, it automatically becomes lesser and lesser in size which we call disuse atrophy. Now while this sounds like an exciting option because it is a non-surgical, it can be done on outpatient basis, it is also a temporary treatment option. The effect of the Botox lasts only for 3-6 to six months. Additionally, sometimes if any other a slimming is required of the jawbone underneath the muscle, it cannot be done along with Botox treatment. Versus the second treatment that I am coming to which is surgical debulking of the masseter muscle. In this procedure, we induce the patient under general anesthesia and we remove some fibres of the masseter muscle from completely within the mouth uh, and this helps in reduction of the bulk of the muscle. Along with it, if required, in certain cases, we also shape uh, the related part of the jawbone in case that has also increased in size due to the masseter action. Now, uh, uh, this sounds promising as it's a permanent treatment option and both the muscle and the bone can be corrected at the same time. The disadvantage of this uh, procedure is that A, it is invasive, it is done under general anesthesia and it involves a longer recovery period. Well, um, this, the decision to do either is based primarily on what you are seeking. Uh, do you just want to see how your face look changes when you go in for a masseter a thinning procedure? Or do you directly want to go in and you want to permanently correct the look of your face? If you are still confused, do book an appointment, uh, follow my channel, like, subscribe and share. Thank you.